Rick and Morty shines a harsh light on society in some obvious ways and some less expected ways. The show doesn't directly deal with environmental destruction, well, except for when Rick just like destroys planets. But it hides messages about the toward relationship people have with nature. So in the Rick and Morty multiverse, Ricks and Mortys live in this place called the Citadel of Ricks. It's an asteroid composed entirely of Ricks and Mortys. You know, they work there, they go to school, they creepily dance for each other at clubs. They pay each other, they buy houses. And of course, they buy simple Rick wafers, a cookie that they make in factories. So a very famous commercial for these cookies features Simple Rick. A Rick who lives in a cabin in the woods, or a very homey cottage, or actually probably it's just the same house from all the other universes, but for some reason it feels super like simple and homey and foresty. Unlike other Ricks, Simple Rick finds happiness through things like woodworking and his daughter and I think that's it. I think it's just woodworking and his daughter. I think that's mostly what he does. On the other hand, the Ricks on the Citadel live in this crazy, metallic, urban environment that's totally lacking in nature. You know, no love, no woodworking. So this commercial works because the Ricks on the Citadel really long for this kind of simplicity and human connection. So much so that the factory owners kidnap Simple Rick and hook him up to a machine where they make his brain secrete happiness chemicals. So ironically, by buying these cookies, Ricks are actually supporting the industrial machine that's enslaving them in the first place. So their job takes away the things that would normally bring them happiness, like human connection and nature and freedom, and then it sells them back inferior versions of these things through the form of chemical-laden wafers. Sound familiar? Okay, so at this point, a lot of shows would just place the blame on evil bosses and leave it at that. But Rick and Morty is way too cynical to stop there. In this world, Ricks run the factories and Ricks also work in the factories. There's no difference between the Ricks in charge and the Ricks at the bottom of the social pyramid. They're totally identical. I see it in our factories, where Ricks work for a fraction of their boss's salary, even though they're identical and have the same IQ. The industrial machine isn't just the creation of some evil wealthy people oppressing everyone. Instead, the system kind of creates itself. People just happen to fill the slot of CEO and worker. But under different circumstances, a CEO could have been a worker and a worker could have been a CEO. So humans don't keep on oppressing each other and destroying the environment because there happen to be a few bad people in charge. They do it because we're all part of this system that systematically destroys the environment and creates inequality. We all buy the gasoline and delicious wafers that keep the system going. So in the Rick and Morty universe, and possibly other universes, you can't stop the system just by blaming people or sending corrupt people to jail. Because the system will just regenerate itself with more of the same kinds of people. If you want to change things, you have to change the system itself. Is that too optimistic for Rick and Morty? I don't know.